Okay, here we go. Let me try to adjust this a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, um, as you can see behind me, these are a few of my divas that I've done. These are the locks. Um, the locks hadn't been done yet. Those are my diva girls. Those are my babies. Okay. And I also have my baby boo. This is my baby boo. These are our baby divas. I have not seen baby divas, so I decided to do some little Easter divas. She's not quite finished. I got to fix her bows. Um, this is for order for a lady that asked me to do a baby diva for her. So this is a little baby, okay? And she also she comes with the ring that you can hang her up. Um, this I do them covered, the backs, and I do them uncovered. This one is the cheaper version. It's the uncovered, which I always use vinyl on all of my wreaths. So. You can use them outside. Now, if you use the contact paper, uh, I forget what the paper that you call. If you use the paper kind, it's probably mostly you're going to use it on the inside. You're not going to put it on your door. Okay, so you want the the vel uh, vinyl. That's what this is. This is the vinyl. All my divas come with the vinyl. Gives you a choice to. Gives you a choice to whether you want to have your divas inside or outside. So let's start. Okay. When I do my divas, I'll show you one this that does have the back, the vinyl backing on it. These are some orders that I gotta finish. But what I most of the time what I do is I already prep them. Once I know I'm going to get, I have an order, I go ahead and start prepping them. I use this vinyl to cover the back, and it also keeps it sturdy, more sturdy than without, than the ones that I have that, that do not have the vinyl on the back. It takes a little bit more time to do this because you have to let stuff dry. You got to cut like three or four times, and you got to trim and all this to make the Diva Reef, this is a personal one, so I'm not going to turn it around. Um, the personalized ones are could be your face on a Diva Reef. Yeah, I started this in, in 2018. My first Diva Reef I did was in 2018. Um, what inspired me was when I went online and I saw the silhouettes, which were awesome, beautiful, with the Christmas bowls. And... I just felt like something was missing. I was like, okay, they're beautiful, but us as ladies, we want our features to be shown, okay? We got pretty eyes, we got pretty lips, got whatever. We want our features to be shown. We want to be able to accessorize um, on, our, on our face, our features, which is our, our biggest part of our body, okay? Uh, Enough said on that. Um, like I said, I was very inspired by the silhouette reefs, but me being different as I am, I decided to go a step further and I started the doing the faces. Uh, and that's where that's where my idea came from. Uh, so thank you, ladies, that started the silhouette. Um, Diva Reefs, like I said, I commend you. You're awesome. Please give a queen their crown, okay? Um, if you got something, an idea or something, I don't even remember the ladies' names, but if you got an idea or something from someone else's page or someone else's product, give them their props. Give them their crown. I don't mind. You know, I said because we all, we are creative. We we that's what we do okay so if i work eight hours on this product and then someone said oh well this is mine and da, 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 that's something you know don't do that ladies don't do that um give give the queen her crown okay um like i said um 
my first one, my first Diva Reef I did was in 2018. And I'm not going to talk out of there. I'm just going to get started. Okay. We all know, those of us that have, have done Diva Reefs, we use the foam board. They have it in white. And they also have it in the black. Okay. It's your choice. I prefer the white. Because with this one, it, the, I used the black with this one. And it kind of took away from her natural uh, color of her face. It kind of darkened her face a little bit. So with this one, I used the white. And with all the other ones, I used the white. This is the only one I used the black with. And I could kind of see the black coming through. So I think I'm going to stick with the white. But that's your choice. That's your choice. Okay, of course we're going to need... A hot glue gun. You'll need some glue sticks. I use the Gorilla Glue. Um, you're going to need some reef rings. This, I think, is the 8 inch. I got a 10 inch. I got a 12 inch. They come in at various different sizes. Everyone knows that they come in very different sizes. Those who have done reefs, regular reefs, or our diva reefs with the diva reefs i use a 10 inch i use a 10 inch reef ring for the diva reefs and the reason why i use the 10 inch is because it makes it fuller i've tried the eight inches i, I i've tried the eight inch ones um i don't want y'all to be able to see them a little bit I used the eight. I used the eight inch on them before, but it just didn't. I didn't get the fullness that I wanted um, from the eight inch. So I went to the ten inch. So the ten inch one would probably be better for me. I like I like them to be full and flowing. And of course, you can tell I, I like to be different and glamorous. I'm glamorous. I like the shine. I like the glitter. Um, because uh, it's, you know, that's us. That's us women. That's what we are. That's who we are. We're glamorous. And we want to show our glamour. Okay? Um, what was I going to say? Okay. You, we have, we need scissors. Okay? We're going to need some cutting knives. Whatever you decide you want to use. Either the, the blades. Um whichever blade you prefer that's your choice that's what you would need and accessories i love accessories guys you just don't know how much as you can tell my divas they got a little bit of everything bling everywhere bling 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 okay i okay i'll just take this right here this is just um it's really cute it's uh, blue jean type flowers that uh, I think I ordered from Amazon. And I can't remember. But it comes in like a ribbon. It's like a, it's like a regular ribbon. And it comes, you know, rolled up like a ribbon. Um, that's your choice. You have as many choices as you want. Any colors that you want um, to do your wreaths with. I buy these little bags as well because they're shiny. And they're bling and they're pretty. And I love this color. And I'm not a pink person, but I don't know. I've just been stuck on pink here lately. And I got these little embellishments that I got from the Dollar Tree. That's her crown. You can put diamonds on these crowns. You can, they're mirrors, okay? Just like with her, she's got a mirror here. You can put a real mirror there if you like. Um, her crown is a mirror. And I did her glasses and the rhinestone and it was in black they just look plain to me so i just want to spruce up her glasses and i put a little glitter right there on her eyebrows i did glitter whatever glit whatever color you like i chose the the white to match her outfit i put a little mirror part on her earring some little diamond uh, um, studs on her ears I did her nails over again with the same glitter that I did her eye her eyebrows with. Okay, you can add air. You can add 
diamond rings, earrings. You can have the little rings up there, which I did a couple um, like that that wanted the the earrings and stuff in the eyebrows. Um, with this one, I think she's a cutie. She's very fashionable. Um, her nails were already blue in the picture. I just put some glitter on them. I brought, she had fur already, you know, on her on her jacket. So I just added a little bit more fur. This is her little leather look. I mean, I know it kind of looks like a cheap leather, but that's her leather look, okay? I did her glasses and rhinestone. I also did her eyebrows as well in pink. I got a little feather up there and a little headband, okay? Okay. Going, moving on. This one is my favorite because I haven't finished her yet. I haven't decided how I was going to do her. But I think she's gorgeous. And she's got attitude. <laughs> she has attitude. And these cloths right here, I buy everything from the store. I don't use anything that's been used. I don't use them on my Diva Reaps. Um, everything is freshly bought from the store. I go out and I find a color. If, it, if I'm out looking and I see something that catches my eye, I'm going to pick it up. I may use it now. I may use it later. But this is a piece of cloth that I bought. Um, I'm not sure where I bought it from. I pick up stuff throughout the year. With whatever I see that I like the color of, I'll go ahead and pick it up. This part right here is just a contact paper, but it's glittery. It's shiny. It's glittery. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But it's got a little glitter into it. This is the sequin that you can change the colors on. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can change the colors on it. And I like that. I also did her a little hat. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with her as yet. So I had some leftover sequins. So I just put it on her hat. So once I decide or finish, because this one is mine. Um... I just saw her and I liked her. I did her nails too. I added some, what was it? Valentine hearts. They were little pink Valentine's hearts and I cut them in half and I made her nails with them. Okay. I mean, they were already pink, but I just they just stand out more to me. I did her, eyelet, her eyebrows as well and I put some glitter on her lips. Her little lipstick is, is popping. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but her lipstick is popping as well. Okay. And with her, the same thing. I just put the two sticks, you know, just to give you guys an idea. This is a cheaper way of doing it. The vinyl on the back is the more expensive way of doing it. Okay. So it's your choice. Um, whatever your customer desires, what they want. Um, that's what we do. We try to satisfy our customers. Okay. So let's get started. With the locks, I've already started one for you. This is the pinky pink. Kind of looks like a little tutu. But this is really simple, guys. It's really simple. But the thing about it, these are expensive. They are not cheap. If you can find them, and as many as you have to use, um, it, it really can get expensive during the Diva Locks. Okay. Um, I got my, my little twisty ties. That I do, I'm gonna un, undo one for you and just show you basically the measurements with this. I also got a measure. I use this. It's stiff and it, I think it holds better than doing the cloth ones. So with this, you're gonna need 42 to 45 inches. It all depends on how long you want your locks to be. You can use. Let me let me find you one that's not open yet. This is a red one. It comes this long and it's folded. So you got about, let me see how many yards, 30 yards? This is like 30 yards. This is 30 yards. Um, it seems like a lot, but really, as long as you want them, as long as they would have to be, because you have to fold them and put them up and, and everything. Um, I will probably use about four bags of these and they're like maybe nine, ten dollars a bag um, for this size. Okay. 
You can find them at the craft stores, some of the craft stores online. I think Walmart, I mean, Amazon has them online um, where you can buy them from Amazon online. Okay. Okay, I've already cut my 42 inches. I fold them in half. I take my little twisty ties and I just twist it on there. It doesn't have to be even, even, but, you know, see, mine aren't even, even. So, and the simple trick is, you just take this part, make sure it's facing the bottom, and you just twist it back on. You just twist it. If I can get it twisted. You just twist it. Okay. And once you get if once you've gotten as many as you feel like you want to have, this is not nearly enough to get this effect. Um, so this is just a quick tutorial for you guys who've never done the, the Diva Locks uh wreaths before. I've done the um the regular this, I call them the scrunchy ones because you have to take the deco mesh and you got to scrunch it up. So I call it the scrunchy ones, which is sorry, which is what this is. This is the scrunched up diva, the scrunched up, excuse me, deco mesh. And I'm using pink, I guess, because it shows better on the camera than any of the other ones. So I'll give you a quick lesson on how to do these scrunches. Um, most of the time, I usually put like two. It depends on how thick it is. This is pretty thick. So I do like a 10 by 10 on your measuring thing, on your measuring pad. You do a 10 by 10, cut it, scrunch it up. If you got one of those um, bow robbers, whatever it is, you can put it on there and then just continue on until you get as many as you want or however thick you want it. But I like doing it this way because it looks more poofy. Now for the babies, I always do, I always do the roll-ups for the babies because I think the roll-ups, so you can only see the black on here, but I'll put her up a little closer. So these are the roll-ups that I do for the babies. Okay, that's my Easter baby. She's adorable. So, but with the adults and the teenies, teenagers and everyone else that, that likes locks or want to do the locks, I would um, definitely recommend that you make it fuller than this because you don't want to be able to see through your locks, okay? And I really don't have the right one because I kind of cut this one up for a different reason, <laughs> okay? I was I didn't plan on using it, but I thought it would be good to show you as a, um, who's calling me? Put it out the way. Um, as a demonstration, as far as how to put the locks on. Okay. First things first. When you want to, when you get ready to do your diva wreaths, your locks, wreaths, of course, your foam board. Now, there's several different ways you can do this. Um, Okay, this is the vinyl, y'all. This is not paper. Um, I do cloth as well, but this one, this is uh, my vinyl one. When you, lock, when you lay it before you cut it, or if you want, you can cut, cut the photo out and then put it on the foam board, or you can place it on the foam board. Be sure you give it enough height for the diva reefs, you're gonna need height. With the other reefs, maybe not that much height because you just need something to for the ring for the ring to hold on to. But with the diva reefs, you're gonna need a little height. So when you cut it, you're gonna cut, you're gonna leave 
you may just well just cut it all the way to the top because this is going to be this part right here you're not going to be able to use it um unless you got another project that you can use i always hang on to it just in case i need some backing or to make something thicker or whatever but um this is another one of my beauties this is an order that i have to do also um so, like I said, with the Diva locks, you're going to need some more space up here. So, when you cut it, I would just cut it all the way through. Do whatever you want to do with that and then work with this. Because it's better to have more than you need and not have enough. Because then you got to try and fix it. Okay. So, we've cut out, cut out our, wreath, our, our face, our beautiful, beautiful Nubian face. And we've taking our Mod Podge. We use Mod Podge to um, to connect to, to glue I'm going to say connect to glue your face onto the foam board. You're going to use Mod Podge. Um, I I'm heavy handed with the Mod Podge. I really am. And Sometimes if this board, if you get a cheaper board, which also comes in plastic, I didn't know that, but the plastic is harder to cut, um, which you don't have to worry about it seeping through, whatever, whatever, because this is the cheaper one and you don't want to put too much on it. You don't want it to just drown it. You want to put it just, you may have to go back again and add some more Mod Podge to make sure it sticks down. You're going to have some spots that didn't, that dried up before, you know, you could get it um lay lay down on there good so what you want to do let me move my camera so you can see what i'm doing what you want to do basically is you want to do a little by little you want to start maybe halfway put your marge pies down kind of even it out don't let it be running. It don't need to be running over and just smooth it out. And what another thing that I do is I find something with a flat side and just go. So if you got any extra Mod Podge that you don't need, it's going to come out the bottom. You could cut it off, you know, do whatever you want to do. But my thing is you do half of this and then you flip it over and then you do the other half Mod Podge. Okay. That's the best way to do it for me. Uh, that, that works for me. And then get something flat and just go. You know, I, can't even, I don't even know what my little thing is. But um, maybe a flat side of a comb or something smooth that you could just smooth it out without. And then you'll see if you got any bumps in there as well. So if you got any bumps or something got under there that you didn't see, you'll be able to see that and you'll have time to to take it off or take it out before it dries, okay? So, there you go with that. So we've already, we've already put our um, Mod Podge on. We've let it dry. Now, I can show you this diva. Now we're gonna cut her out, okay? She had a really long hair. You're going to cut all the hair off. You know, you're not going to need any hair on her sides. Make sure if she has ears, you would want, definitely want, she didn't really have any ears, just earrings. Her hair was covering her ears. But make an illusion of an ear um, so that you're able to, to put earrings on her. Okay? That's, that's something that I try to make sure that I do because it, you know, we wear earrings. It brings out, you know, our features, our, our jewelry, our clothing, whatever it is that we have on. Um, so that's why I like to put earrings on and I'll show you what I do for earrings. They're different. Sometimes I use real earrings. Um, I buy them fresh. Of course, I don't, I wouldn't give anybody any earrings that I've worn. Okay. That's a no, no. Um, I buy them fresh. If I don't have them, I'll go out and find them or I'll improvise. That's why we have our little bling blings. We have our rhinestone. Um, we have all these little things that we can use 
um, out from the dollar store, mostly. Um, I order a lot of stuff online, but if I can find something in the dollar store, let me see here. Like these little embellishments right here on her ears. These are just these are just um, the flat back diamond bling. That's what those are. And with her, it's the same thing. It's just a just a diamond little bling, but hers is in blue. You can find them in different colors. I think I went to AC more before they closed, and I racked up on everything that they had. I racked up on everything. Okay. So, moving along, let's get back to our ring, okay? We've cut her out. The best thing I say to do is to do it separate. You want to do this either first or last. It's your choice. It's really simple and easy. Um, you want to put all of your embellishments on her before you put her hair on before you put her locks on and the reason why i say that is once you put this thing on it's going to be hard to try to move around um get her you know you know what i'm saying put her eye her makeup on while the reef is on her head so the best thing to do is do all her i like her little jacket you know her little jacket i put her little jacket on and i was i put her um no blouse on, no shirt where her sleeve is. And I just wanted everything to be different, but the colors, they kind of came together. And I just had this cloth like back in my room and I'm like, oh wow, there we go. I'm glad I bought this, okay? So when we do this, it's gonna be a little, a little different, like I said, than the other rings that we did. The back side, this is the back side of the ring. This ring, like I said, it's just used for this tutorial. It's gonna be, it's gonna look like this. Your ring is gonna look like this. And okay, one thing I need to tell you, when you get this ring, you are gonna have to take this middle part. Let me see. This middle part is gonna have to come out. Just one. See the little middle part right here. Let me take this off. This part right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. This middle part, uh, get in the camera. This part right here, snip it off. If you got some wire snippers or whatever, because that's where her head is gonna fit. Her head is gonna fit on that on the middle one right there. So I already cut this one. Or did I? No, this one doesn't have one. Okay, so let me. Because I want you guys to know exactly what you're doing. So let me find my nips. My wire nips. They should be close around here somewhere. And I'll just show you what I'm doing. I thought I had it already. you guys too long but I couldn't find my nips but just take your wire cutter and just cut that middle one just this right here just this part is coming down where my finger is touching just that part you're gonna snip here and you're gonna snip here and you're gonna leave it all this part right here is gonna be open so you're on on the middle ring you're only gonna have one two three four instead of five okay and this is the 10 inch ring okay just remember you got to cut this one out in order to slide her head in there okay okay just say for instance my ring is cut out already like I said I just use this one as a tutorial what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our reef since we've already decorated her we put her makeup on put her nails on we put her clothes on so she's good to go now we're gonna work on her hair like I said you're gonna use like I said I use maybe six to eight strings of rope of locks i use six to eight so one two three 
four, five, six. I got six on this one, okay? So you're going to have six on each side, which is going to be really 12. But you want it to be kind of thick, like I said, because you don't want you don't want it to be able to show through. Okay. This is the back side of the ring. This is the front side of the ring, the round side. Okay. With this, you're going to take all of these and you're going to flip them up. Let me turn it back down so you can see. You're going to flip these up. Okay. This part of the ring is going to go down over top. And you're going to gather them up like this. You're going to gather them up like this. Okay. So as you can see, we're already forming her little ponytail at the top. Okay. Once you get everything up, you want it to be straight. You want everything to be straight. I'm doing it a little messy right now because I don't want this video to be too long. I don't want to bore y'all to death. But once you get these all the way up, where you want them nice and neat, you're going to take the top one, the little, I don't have one there. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to secure this in some type of way. Okay. You can take your little, uh, um, what do you call them? The straw things, straw cleaners, um, whatever you call them. I can't, my mind just went blank and I know what they are. But you, the Chanel, thank you, Chanel. Our Chanel, um, Chanel wires. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, take and make a ponytail with that. We have to use one of these wires, so I only have one. So we gotta, we gotta slide it through the back of that wire. You see it? I saw the pink in there, but you can kind of see where I slid it through. And then we're going to pull it tight and we're going to go back. This is kind of tricky and it may take you a while to, to get it. I've been doing it for a while, so I'm kind of, and then I don't have a lot on here. This is just, you know, enough just to show you. Then you're just going to twist that like that. You're going to twist it. Make sure this is always in the back, okay? Make sure when you finish, it's always in the back, okay? This is the tricky part right here because guess what? We got to cover up this wire. So we're going to move around. We're going to spread them out. We're going to stretch them out until we get this wire covered. And there, there is another trick that you can do with the, like the last one. You take the last one the one that's closer to the end, this one, you want to slide it up some and you want to kind of push it back. You know, it's going to be much more than this. That's why I'm like, you got to use a lot to cover up this wire. Um, cause you don't want, you don't want, this is my see-through. This is what I'm talking about. The see-through. You don't want the see-through. Okay. So we're going to need a lot more than this, but to take the end one, the one on the end, push it up and move it around. And then the other ones, they'll kind of like fall in place. Okay. So this is what you're looking for. This is basically what you're looking for. Okay. This is what you want to have. Okay. Okay. Now, okay, ma'am, how do you put this thing on here? Just like when I told you, when you cut this little part out of this ring, her head is going to fit through there. You may have to trim her off a little bit for, for it to fit properly. And once, you, um, once you've once you done it for a while, then it won't, it, won't, it won't take you as long to get it fit. Because sometimes you can just like take a look and say, okay, it's going to be like right here. 
because that wire is going to be gone. And these two are going to hold the top part of her head. So these are going to be sitting on top of here once you get it on there. Okay. So. Alrighty. Okay. So this, this is not for her. <laughs> this, uh, this is just a showing you how it's done and how she, how it's going to look once you get, once you get, um, let me sit her down right here. Once you get, um, her hair on her, this is not going to be her color. This is not her color. This doesn't go with her outfit and accessorize. I'm the type of person. I like everything to match. I mean, I've seen people doing green and blue and different colors. I'm a, I like to match. So I, um, her hair is probably going to be black or brown. Um, and basically, this is what it's going to look like before you put your head wrap on her or whatever you decide to put on her. So you've made her ponytail already. The thing is, which is, you know, I think that was pretty much the most difficult part or the, the, the most part that takes a long time is getting these to where they look nice and they look full and they look neat um so and with this you're gonna have this okay as you can see with my girls the hair it's kind of flowing a little bit of everywhere eventually that's gonna go down you know as, as they sit or if you want to you can wrap it and if you want them all laying one one way you can just wrap them um once you make this just take it, take it, fold it over, fold them over, and just take a headband or a band or something, uh, something smooth, and just tie it down. And that, that'll keep them from being so, you know, all out the way. But I kind of like it. I kind of, I kind of like the all over the place type, you know. So that's her hair. That's going to be what her hair is going to look like. These are her locks. Okay. All right, ladies. I hope I hadn't left anything out. Um, I know you're going to use, you're going to need some brushes to do her makeup. You're going to need some glue, some strong glue. I wouldn't use Mod Podge. I'll use something strong. If you're going to put her nails on, if you're going to put the nails on yourself, or if you're just going to put the glue, you're still going to need a uh, paintbrush. Um, so I, like I said, I hope I hadn't left anything out. I'll show you the back of these, kind of give you an idea of what the back kind of looks like. Okay. This is the middle part that I told you that I cut out. So that the single ring is going to be right there. You're going to, I just put hot glue there just so I can show you guys. Um, so you can be able to see. I like to use the vinyl. I love to use the vinyl because some people, a lot of people want to put them outside. Um, they want people to see them on their doors and, you know, and it helps me because that's how I get my customers. Oh, wow. Where'd you get that from? Oh, that's different. You know what I'm saying? So even when I started with um, doing the crunch reefs, which I did them the exact same way, um, like I said, I did the crunch. Let me. Let me give you a demonstration of how I did the crunch. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these out of here. I'm going to give me a better idea. And I always cover my backs. I always cover my backs with something, uh, some kind of material. Um, it just looks neater. I mean, and I use the uh, zip ties, I use zip ties on them as well. Um, so that's something you really want to invest in. It's like I said, this thing, it really gets expensive if you, if you do it, um, you know, if you, you know, if you want to do it the quick way, that that's fine. That's if your customers are fine with that, then I said, go for it. I like to give my customers quality. Um, and with all of my wreaths, I get free gifts. 
Um, so my customers can tell you that they get a free gift with, okay, I think I just did one on this. Okay, this will make it easy. Okay, this is just one whole one. I don't know why I did that, but I don't know. But anyway, it's the same process. Let me show you. It's the same process. If you want to do a 10 by 10, you're going to measure 10, 10 here, and 10 here. Okay? You're going to measure 10 here. Where's a 10? Okay, I'm backwards. I'm 10 here and 10 here. So it's going to be 10 long. And that's actually going to be 10. And 10. I guess it is 10. Okay. Okay. okay, right here. 10, 10. So that's about 10. So anyway, your measurements are going to be 10 by 10. This is not a 10 by 10. I don't know why I did that, but I just want to show you the crunch method that you use that I use to do those, which that it takes longer, trust me. And that's where the cost comes in because this is labor. This is a lot of labor to have to do these individually to make this big wreath that we have, okay? So you're gonna spread it out. You're gonna take your little fingers and you're just gonna do this. You're gonna pinch, pinch, pinch. And it just sounds like a little rat. And it sounds like a little rat scratching at something in there. There it is. This is what you got. And you take your Chanel stems. There it is, Chanel stems. And you're just going to take your Chanel stems. And I like to put it as tight as I possibly can. The tighter, the better, because the more tight it is, the more it will flare out. You don't have to use as much. And then you're just going to twist it. And you're going to put it on the front of your ring, on the round side of your ring and you're going to tie it in the back that's how i do mine now i've seen other people uh where they do it from the front to the back but i like to do it where the chanel stems are sticking out at the back that's what i like to do mine it's your choice you can do it whatever way you want to do it uh, but this is the look that you're looking for and it may take a while because it took me a long time to, to be able to scrunch it up to where it looks um decent or, or got the way I wanted to do it. Like I said, I've been doing this since 2018. And I, I started out with the faces. Um, I didn't do the silhouettes, even though they were beautiful. They're nice. But I just felt like we as women, we need a little bit more. We need to show off. We need to show off our features. Okay. And that's that. Run. Okay, with there's one thing that I didn't, I felt to mention with my baby, my baby girl. With her ring, all you're gonna use is the middle part of her ring. And this is a, this is a tiny, tiny ring. I think it's a four inch ring. I use a four inch ring for her. And you're only gonna use the middle ring to put your um, deco mesh. You're only going to use the middle ring for her deco mesh. You don't, this is just to, you know, hang it up or whatever. But yeah, pretty much this is what the back of the babies look like as well. They all look the same um, with the babies. If you got the two ponytails, which uh, let me show you this one. I told the lady I wasn't going to show it because she didn't want anyone else to get it before she got it. But y'all just don't, don't, don't tell nobody. <laughs> Okay, this is my other precious baby. Okay, with her, um, you're going to have to cut because she has the two puffs. She has the two puffs, so we're going to have to, we had to cut her a little space up in here. That's what it looks like. I'm not done with her either. <laughs> I'm multitasking right now. I'm on working on like all of these and mine and other people's wreaths right now. So I'm a really busy lady and I have a job. Wow. Am I a superwoman or what? 
And um, this is a, a baby hat that I bought. Um, you can find cloth anywhere, uh, any kind. Walmart has sales. Um, I bought two beautiful sequin dresses for like $3 a piece. I'm going to use those on, on one of them, on uh, one of my diva reefs. A uh, lady uh, requested a, um, okay, Google. Like I said, with this one, like I said, more is better. When you have more space, when you do this baby and you cut her out, you want this part of her head to be wide, like a Mickey Mouse. You want it to be very wide, wide as possible. You're probably going to use only one foam board for her because she's going to need this. So you can cut off what you don't need gradually instead of having a small one. And then you got to try to figure out how, because it's, it's got to look right. You know, it's got to look right. It's got to look even. It's got to look almost realistic. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's that little boo-boo. And she's going to be wearing pink. She's going to be my pink baby. Okay. Like I said, I'm into pink for some reason. I don't know why. But okay, well, I gave you guys a lot of ideas. Um, like I said, make sure you mention Diva Decors. That's our that's our um, name brand. We're on Facebook. Um, I was told two years ago almost to do a video on YouTube, and I got so busy that I did I wasn't able to do one so um I took the time out to do a video for you guys those who want to learn how to do these are my diva locks the diva locks and then we got the baby divas so we call the baby divas okay and if you have any questions you can um send me a message on the on the youtube i'll be glad to answer um i have my daughter she works with me as well she's very she's very helpful um she gives me uh, a lot of inspiration and encouragement and um, she really helped me out a lot with this especially working with computers and and doing this and you know you know what i'm saying so um i like i said i commend all my customers i thank you so much for your support um we also we do religious um i can show you this because it's not a personal one we do religious photos as well as well as personal ones now this is one of my favorites um because she's praying and i love this it will go good in a church or in your home or um in a um beauty salon these can go in a daycare you can have, they can be posted up in a daycare. They can be posted up in your little girl's room, um, a playroom, or where, wherever you decide that you want to put them. And I hope that this is my first video, you guys. If I've forgotten something, left something out, hop a queen out, okay? Just let me know, hey, boo, next time do this or next time say that. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'll do the same for you. I always comment on um, other divas. I always do, and that that's a good thing. That because we gotta we gotta work together regardless. We're not working against each other. We're here to help each other out, and you know that that's my thing. Um, with some people that, like I said, you know, I mentioned before in my video, um, if you get some uh, uh, inspiration from another queen, put her name out there, okay? Let them know, hey, this is where I got it from. It wasn't my own idea. Um, it was her. She worked hard on it, um, you know, like I said, and just in, in, inspire each other, lift each other up. You know, um, we got enough stuff going on in this world with our people and, you know, and everything else is going on in this world. So let's just try to encourage one another. Um, you guys be safe out there with the Corona virus going on. Um, just be safe. That's all I can say. And I said, thank you again. I'll say thank you again for viewing my video. Um, I hope I've taught you something. Um, I hope these divas get out. Um, 
a lot of people at this time they they're you know their money's tight and you can't you, you know that you're not gonna expect people to should just want to throw money out money out money out you know for decorations or whatever but if you can support a sister in her small business that may be all she has you know what i'm saying and just support her if you can and if you can it's understood as well so thank you very much and remember dv decor uh we're on facebook in 2018 we started um with our diva reefs and um we've gone we've been busy the whole 2019 2020 um year so and into 21 with the diva locks and the baby locks i mean excuse me the diva locks and the baby divas okay um i love my baby divas i'm gonna get some more um photos for the baby divas um, a lot more. I'm going to try to do the little boys with the locks. I, I have a man too. I did a man. I did a man and I sold him. Yeah. And I, I will, all my, all my reefs will be posted in my, in, uh, in my video, all my reefs that I've done in the past between 18 and 21, all those will be posted. So, um, just know that there's, there's nothing that we can't do. Just put your mind to it. We have creative minds. Put your mind to it. Bring out something. Hopefully, I can bring out something, some creativity in you that you have that you can make your own. You know, that you can decide, okay, well, I like hers, but let me do this with mine. You know what I'm saying? And let that be yours. Okay. Um, don't take, like I said, don't take a queen's crown. Okay. Let let her have her crown. Um, and we can all live in this world together and just be happy. All right. Thank you so much again. I thank you again for your support and for watching my video. All right. You ladies and divas, have a great day. And my girls are going to say bye. Right now. And we will see you soon. Thank you.